Affordable housing solutions continue to be a persistent challenge in Jamaica. Low-income earners lament their inability to take advantage of facilities provided by the National Housing Trust, NHT, and the Housing Agency of Jamaica, HAJ. Minister without portfolio in the Housing Ministry, Dr. Murray Skye, admits that the government is aware of the concern. Dr. Guy says based on discussions between his ministry and the National Housing Trust, a special policy has been developed to increase the delivery of low-income homes. Mr. Speaker, we have, have identified lands across the island which, when developed, can produce some 5,960 lots, of which 3,010 are earmarked to be designed and developed in the first phase of the program. This proposal for the development and delivery of low-income housing has been approved by the Cabinet, and infrastructure works are projected to be completed by June 2017. Dr. Guy explains that it will cost the government approximately $12.91 billion to construct the new housing units. He says funding will be sourced from the Petro Caribe Fund as well as the National Housing Trust, NHD. It is projected, Mr. Speaker, that the construction and financing required to produce the service lots will be $7.8 billion and $5.05 billion for the housing component, giving a total of $12.9 billion. Of this amount, 3.9 will be required in this financial year. Of the total amount, the National Housing Trust will provide a total of 3.9 billion over a three-year period, which will leave a deficit of $9 billion, for which funding will be sought from other sources, one of which is the Petro Caribe Fund. Dr. Guy was making his contribution to the 2015-2016 sectoral debate in Parliament on Tuesday.